Hi guys, my name is Jen. Today I'd like us to meditate a little bit on our clergymen. First I'm going to start with a little story. So a country preacher was preaching very pointedly to his congregation one Sunday morning, and he said, Now, let the church walk. Deacon Jones said, Amen, let it walk. The preacher then said, Let the church run. Deacon Jones said, Amen, parson, let it run. Shouted the preacher. Let the church fly. Shouted Deacon Jones. Amen, brother, let it fly. Now, it's gonna take a lot of money to let the church fly, brother. Shouted the preacher. Ooh, let it walk then. Said Deacon Jones. Let it walk. Preachers can be funny people. You probably know at least a couple, if not quite a few preachers. Most of them have discovered that it helps to have a sense of humor. Many times pastors and Christians are caught in situations that nothing works. It's at such times that it helps to have a sense of humor, to laugh at the situation and ourselves. For another example, there was a small town preacher who liked to go down to the train tracks and watch the trains go by. He went every day at exactly 3.08 just to watch them. Well, members of his congregation decided that they thought this pastime was too juvenile, and his church board asked him to give it up. No, gentlemen, he said firmly. I preach your sermons, teach your Sunday school, bury your dead, marry your young people, run your charities, and I am chairman of every drive that it pleases you to conduct. I pray at every function that you have. I won't give it up, this seeing the train every day. I love it. It's the only thing that runs through this town that I don't have to push or pull. Ha ha ha. And there was a young rookie preacher who was quite flattered when somebody said that he was a model preacher. But his pride soon vanished when he realized and looked up the definition of model, which means a small imitation of the real thing. He was a bit more cautious the next time. On being described as a warm preacher, he turned to his pocket dictionary, and it said warm, not so hot. So the next time you see your pastor, your pulpit fill, pastors in our church congregation, the new pastors we'll continue to meet, how about praying for them? In fact, how about doing it now? Let's pray for the pastors who are out there looking for ministry. Let's pray for the other pastors who are serving other churches in our community. No one in our community sees as thin a slice of life as our local pastor. They need our support as well as our presence in the church. I have here a quote from Richard Baxter that says, I preached as never sure to preach again, and as a dying man to dying men. And Ephesians 4.11 says, It was he, God, who gave gifts to men. He appointed some to become apostles, others to be prophets, others to be evangelists, others to be pastors and teachers. Thanks, guys, and have a blessed rest of your week.